Like any star, it will run out of fuel in its core and start changing, bloating to engulf the orbits of Mercury and Venus and come very close to Earth. Betelgeuse is dying, and this news has been hard for scientists to swallow, but there's nothing they can do about it as the massive star is about to go supernova anytime soon. Astronomers say it could be tomorrow, next month, or a few months from now they don't know the exact date, but one thing is certain, the famous. Betelgeuse has reached its end, and its death is about to change our lives. What's so special about the Betelgeuse supernova that has got everyone frightened? What would happen if this star exploded today as scientists have predicted? Join us on this intriguing journey as we explore the answers to these questions in today's video. NASA chief announces Betelgeuse supernova is exploding in 2024. It is over. Nothing can be done to stop the impending doom. NASA chief cries out, warning the world about the oncoming Betelgeuse supernova that could change the trajectory of the planet and life as we know it. Betelgeuse's end is imminent. Like a terminally ill patient, Betelgeuse is drawing closer to its grave. It's only a matter of time before the famous star explodes and ceases to exist. For decades, astronomers have been fascinated by Betelgeuse, spending time studying the star's features and oncoming explosions. What astronomers have greatly feared is about to happen. There is no stopping the inevitable Betelgeuse is headed for. Extinction, and its end is coming sooner than we anticipated. Betelgeuse is one of the most remarkable stars in the Milky Way and has captivated astronomers and stargazers for centuries. For a long time, astrophysicists have been mesmerized by this reddish semi-variable star whose apparent magnitude varies between 0.5 and 1.3. When compared with other stars, Betelgeuse emerges as the first magnitude star with the widest range. The classical astronomer Ptolemy described Betelgeuse as more or less orange. Ptolemy, an Alexandrian mathematician, astrologer, astronomer, and geographer, spent years studying Betelgeuse. His research and observations gave astronomy one of the early descriptions of the red giant star. It would amuse you to know that even Aboriginal groups in South Australia shared oral tales of the variable brightness of Betelgeuse for at least 1,000 years. However, advancements in astronomy have given astronomers a more accurate picture of Betelgeuse and its characteristics. The red supergiant star is found in the constellation of Orion and is one of the biggest stars out there. Red supergiant stars are some of the largest and most massive stars in the universe. Their diameter, which ranges from 100 million to 1 billion kilometers, makes them one of the wonders of the Milky Way. If we were to place Betelgeuse beside the Sun, the star is 100 to 1,000 times wider than our Sun. From research, scientists tell us that a red giant star is a dying star in the final stages of evolution. Despite the shared features between a red supergiant star and a red giant star, there's a major difference between them, unlike the red giant that can be formed when a star with the mass of our sun runs out of fuel. A red supergiant forms when a star with more than 10 solar masses begins this phase. A red supergiant star is when it runs out of fuel to burn in its core, and as the star exhausts its fuel, it can no longer create the heat and pressure needed to support its weight, causing it to collapse. Betelgeuse's amazing personality extends to its brightness, as it is the tenth brightest star in the night sky and the second brightest in its constellation, falling right behind Rigel. However, if we were to travel at near-infrared wavelengths, no other star would take Betelgeuse's crown as the brightest star in the night sky. The sun's brightness dims significantly when placed beside the gigantic frame of Betelgeuse. The red supergiant star's radius is 640 times that of the sun. If by some magical wand we could place Betelgeuse at the center of our solar system, its surface would lie beyond the asteroid belt and it would engulf the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. From the calculations made by scientists over the years, Betelgeuse's mass is estimated to range between 10 and 20 times that of the Sun. The most shocking news that has been uncovered about this star is that it is about 600 light years away from the Sun. So technically, it's in the neighborhood. Astronomers have been unable to shake off the surprise they felt when they found out that Betelgeuse is less than 10 million years old. By cosmic standards, it is a young star, it is a little child when compared to our ancient sun, which is about 5 billion years old. However, whatever Betelgeuse loses to age, it makes up for in size. Betelgeuse's size overshadows most of the stars in the universe. Although scientists have done their best to get the precise diameter of Betelgeuse, it has been a Herculean task because it is a pulsating star. This means that its diameter changes with time. 
Another reason this vital information has eluded scientists is that Betelgeuse has no definable edge as limb darkening causes the optical emissions to vary in color and decrease the farther one extends out from the center. Furthermore, Betelgeuse is surrounded by a circumstellar envelope composed of matter ejected from the star, thereby making it difficult to define the photosphere of the star. Moreover, the star's apparent size is dependent on the wavelength used. As if this is not enough, atmospheric twinkling also plays its part in limiting the resolution obtainable from ground-based telescopes since turbulence degrades angular resolution. You can see that there is a host of forces making it hard to accurately determine Betelgeuse's diameter. However, this has not stopped scientists from coming up with estimates of what they believe this gigantic star's diameter would look like. Besides the star's diameter, Another puzzle that Betelgeuse has posed to scientists is the complex dynamics of its extended atmosphere. Scientists are well aware of the fact that the mass that makes up galaxies is recycled as stars are formed and destroyed. However, they have yet to answer the question of how mass is lost. As exciting as this mystery might sound, it is nothing compared to the latest development that scientists uncovered from studying Betelgeuse. It is no secret that Betelgeuse has a large mass, but what many don't know is that this is why it has evolved rapidly over the years. In mathematical terms, we can draw a straight line graph from Betelgeuse's increasing mass to its evolution for millions of years now. On this note, you won't be thrown off guard by the bombshell we are about to drop next. Betelgeuse is dying soon. The red giant star is expected to terminate its evolution when it experiences a supernova explosion any time from now. As soon as astronomers discovered that Betelgeuse was bound to supernova, the scientific community was on high alert. A supernova is a powerful and luminous explosion of a star. Scientists have explained that a supernova occurs during the last evolutionary stages of a massive star or when a white dwarf is triggered into runaway nuclear fusion. What then happens is that the original object, which is known as a progenitor, would either collapse into a neutron star or black hole or be utterly destroyed to form a diffuse nebula. If Betelgeuse explodes today, the peak optical luminosity of the supernova can be compared to that of an entire galaxy before fading after several weeks or months. The sheer sight of this event would either scare or excite its viewers. Another intriguing fact about this red giant star is that it is visible to the naked eye at night. However, researchers still can't wrap their heads around the fact that the red supergiant is almost unobservable from the ground between May and August because it is close to the sun. This is one of the mysteries surrounding Betelgeuse. Another exciting one for the books is that Betelgeuse is one of the three stars that make up the Winter Triangle Asterism and it marks the center of the Winter Hexagon. From the beginning of January every year, the star can be seen. Rising in the east just after sunset, by mid-September to mid-March, it is visible to virtually every inhabited region in the world, except Antarctica at latitude south of 82 degrees. So, on a typical day, once daylight says goodbye to the Earth and the night's darkness sets in, it is possible to spot Betelgeuse among the array of stars that adorn the sky. So, if Betelgeuse were to explode today, everyone would see its aftermath. It would be as visible as if we were watching a 3D live-action movie. Everyone would be aware that something has gone off in the Milky Way. The supernova would appear as a very bright point of light in the sky, potentially casting shadows at night. Betelgeuse's supernova would shine as bright as the half-moon for more than three months, changing the face of what happens on Earth. If you doubt this, remember that Betelgeuse is just 642 light years away from Earth. Figuratively speaking, the star is our backdoor neighbor. There is no running away from the inevitable. We are bound to feel the impact of this mighty explosion. Before we delve deeper into the impact of Betelgeuse's explosion, it's important to point out that the star's brightness is known to have fallen significantly in the past. In the late 2010 s, the star experienced unprecedented dimming. This incident resulted in a lot of confusion among astronomers. In October 2019, Betelgeuse began to dim noticeably, which caused the scientists to be on edge. They feared that this was an early indication that the star was about to supernova. However, after carrying out thorough research and analysis, scientists concluded that this dimming was caused by a combination of the cooling of the star's surface and dust that had been ejected by the star. Despite the fact that the star resumed its regular brightness by April 2020, the red giant star once again showed unprecedented dimming in December 2022. Now astronomers are sure that these are warning signs of Betelgeuse's impending supernova. Once the star explodes, a lot of things will change for the inhabitants of Earth. 
Life as we know it will never be the same again. When Beetlejuice supernovas, we will be experiencing an explosion the likes of which we have never seen before. The explosion would release an immense amount of energy and radiation into space. The supernova would also produce a lot of light, making it visible to the naked eye on Earth. We have touched a bit on how the supernova would change the appearance of the sky on Earth. But what is more worrying is how the explosion would affect us physically. The first thing that we would experience is a blast of electromagnetic radiation, including X-rays and gamma rays, which can cause damage to the Earth's atmosphere and living organisms. We all know how harmful X-rays can be, and if Betelgeuse supernovas, we would be receiving large amounts of this radiation. It is also possible that the ozone layer would be damaged, leaving the Earth's surface vulnerable to harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. This would have catastrophic effects on all forms of life. The explosion would release a large amount of charged particles, which would create a burst of cosmic rays. This could potentially interfere with electronic devices, disrupt power grids, and pose a risk to human health. Imagine all the electronic devices in your home malfunctioning because of the effects of Betelgeuse's explosion. To paint a clearer picture, scientists have predicted that the explosion of Betelgeuse will have the same energy output as the sun in its entire lifetime. However, Betelgeuse's explosion will release this energy in just a few seconds. To explain this better, it means that the energy of 10 billion suns will be released in a matter of seconds. This is equivalent to 10,000 times the energy output of the entire Milky Way galaxy. This energy would be released in the form of light, heat, and radiation, which would then be emitted into space. Besides this, the supernova would create shockwaves that would travel through space at very high speeds. They would be responsible for compressing the interstellar medium and triggering the formation of new stars and planets. The shockwaves from the explosion would be powerful enough to disrupt the orbits of nearby celestial objects, potentially causing them to collide with one another. The supernova would create a huge amount of dust and gas, which would be ejected into space. This material would then form a nebula, which would eventually give birth to new stars and planets. So, on the bright side, a supernova can act as a nursery for new stars and planets. Once the news of Betelgeuse's explosion breaks, it will become a major event in the world of astronomy. It would give scientists the opportunity to study a supernova up close and gain a better understanding of the life cycle of stars. The data collected from this event could also help scientists to refine their models of how supernova work and improve our understanding of the universe. It would also offer the chance to see a supernova in real time, something that has not been observed since 1604 when Johannes Kepler observed the supernova SN 1604 in the Milky Way galaxy. If Betelgeuse explodes, it would provide scientists with a rare opportunity to study the process of star death and the formation of neutron stars and black holes. This could lead to new discoveries and advancements in our understanding of the universe.